back to Fan Talk. Today we're going to be hanging out in the garage and in the driveway. We're going to do something a little different. What I'm going to do is attempt to change my own oil for the first time. So here we go. Okay, so I've got my jacking tools. And I'm just going to lift up the front end of the car here. a bigger jack would make this a little easier, but we're learning. I think we might get this project off the ground yet. Oh look, this bit of plastic is coming off of here. The more you learn, let's see if I can't get it back. You get distracted easily if you're like me. Let's just try and fix this up quick while we're down here. All right. You know what? Let's get that later. Never mind. Let's keep jacking. Maybe use the other hand for a bit. You gotta keep getting your hat back on because you keep bumping your hat against stuff and it falls off your head. Here we go. So I just want to get this thing up high enough I can put these jack stands under there and make it safe to be under there. That's what uh, that's what I suppose is the right thing to do in this situation, but I'm no professional. And I'm almost there. my jack stand under there I'm gonna go get the other side and then we can get started okay so now gotta get under here and find where that oil pan is Okay, so I'm under the car here looking to figure out where the oil pan is, and it looks like I got a hold on it. It's right here. All right, so I got to go get a socket and a ratchet and a container and uh, empty that oil. All right, here we go. All right, so for a container, I just got some old plastic jugs I'm gonna use here. It's my vegetable for a frying oil jug. I'm just gonna kinda cut it up a little bit. My leatherman tool. Always cut away from yourself. Safety first. Boy, that 
was a poor cut, real poor cut. Oh, you know what? There's a little cut in it already here. That's gonna leak. All right, we're gonna have to cut it lower than I thought. Okay, there's one little container. I got a vodka jug. Cut this up. Well, this is much harder to cut. container and then I got this laundry detergent container I think we're gonna need some tougher cutting tools to get through this one all Okay, so I'm hoping that amongst these three containers I can fit about six quarts of motor oil in there because that's about what's got to come out of there. So here we go, we're going to open her up and find out. Okay, so I'm starting to understand the benefits of organization because I don't know, whoever used this ratchet last didn't put it back where it goes and it gave me a headache trying to find it there anyway I found it now and I think we're ready to open up that oil pan let's just get our containers bring them under there and then I'm gonna get under here Trying to keep my hat on. Oh, you know what? It's not worth it. Okay, got my container under the oil pan. I'm gonna try and do this with just one hand on a phone. You know what? I got the wrong size socket there. I need a little bigger one. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, that's the right one, but I got it going the wrong direction here. Wait, maybe not. Wait, maybe so. Oh, I keep honking the damn horn. get this yet. You know what? I'm going to have to use two hands for this job. Okay, folks, I got her loose. Now I'm just going to pull it out. There, go. there goes the oil. Okay, so that went 
pretty horribly and I definitely missed the container some so uh, I'll be having to use the internet to figure out how to clean up a bit of an oil spill and to figure out what to uh, do to dispose of all of this used motor oil anyway I'm gonna put that bolt back in the pan and tighten it up and then we're gonna go up above and we're gonna change the filter Capiche? Okay, so I got that plug back in the oil pan down there. So now I'm gonna come in here and pop the hood. We're gonna get to work on the filter. Get your hood popped. Find a little lever in there. I can see it right there. That's the little plastic housing for that thing there. So I'm gonna need to get some way to hold my phone up there so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I found the right size socket to get this oil filter housing off of there. I'm just gonna put my gloves on and get to work on it I got my new filter here the new o-ring I'm gonna get my little scribe out to do the o-ring thing here in a minute okay so here's the scribe this makes a little bit of a mess when you take this housing out of here so I'm gonna have my rags at the ready and here we go Space, so it's kind of, it's away, but it's coming, it's coming. I can see it turning little by little there. scribe and get this o-ring off of here just get under there and pull it off that was easy throw that away and you take it clean this off give this a good cleaning okay and then got to get our new o-ring on here and just pull it right right on down in there and then I guess you want to take it and kind of lube it up there we go and, uh, take and pop in your new filter just push it in and you hear it click there it goes 
we're just gonna take and tighten this right up back in there where we found it. You wanna make it nice and snug without stripping out the plastic. up a little bit in here. Now we just got to put our new oil in. So, these vans, they take about uh, six quarts of oil. So we'll just pop the thing off here, 5W20. got a funnel. Got my funnel in there. I know my aim ain't that good. And there's five quarts of oil in one of these. be childproof, you know. So there's that. We'll go ahead and just dump this in here. Five quarts of oil here and then another got another jug. I'll get one more quart and we'll be about uh, ready to go here. check the dipstick to see uh, what it says. That's about right there at the full line. So we are good to go here. I'm gonna take this funnel out of here, put the dipstick back in, put the cap on, and run the car for a bit. And then I'm gonna reset the change oil um, light in the car. Start her up. And at first glance, everything seems to be doing just fine, I do suppose. So, uh, after she runs for just a minute, I'll shut her down and then I'll uh, do the uh, check engine light restart. Okay, so to do this check engine light restart, what I think you gotta do, put the key in the ignition, turn it on like that, and then you gotta put the gas pedal to the floor for three seconds. Two, three, 
and then let off on that and then when we start her up we'll see if that did it or not Okay, I'm not seeing a check or an oil change light. So I think we have successfully reset the light. So anyway, it was uh, fun learning how to do this oil change on this Grand Caravan today. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching me bang my head against this project and um, I'm sure it will go more smoothly in the future um, see you next time on van talk